It's your health in the headlines today, and we have kept you waiting long enough. Just a few hours ago, Jasmine went into Dr. Gavami to get her breast done in what is coined the flash recovery breast augmentation. We have Dr. Gavami here, and true to the press, Jasmine, she's out of bed. She's walking yes. around. She has not taken any strong pain pills, like narcotic pain pills. Maybe she took ibuprofen. I didn't numb her breast pocket, and she's able to raise her hands up in the air right now. What, what kind of anesthesia? Uh, it was general with an so LMA. So she was asleep. She was fully asleep. But right now, she does not have, like, Marcaine or something long-acting. There's no numbing. There's no camera wow. tricks. And this was only been a just few hours. earlier to put today. This in perspective, when I, when I learned to do this in the hospital as a resident back in the 80s, I mean, patients would be in the hospital yeah. for a couple days yeah. wow. with breast augmentation. Now so it's been a couple yeah. hours. A lot of people do say on my way home, I stopped by, had lunch, I went out to dinner that night. The next day they go shopping with their friends. This shouldn't be something you lay in bed for and get wrapped with garments, with pressure on them and drain tubes. And for Jasmine, she doesn't get to go to dinner necessarily, but she does get to come on the show. Do you all want to meet her? Yeah. 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 Jasmine, come on out. I feel great. It's yeah, great. you look like it's you feel great. Yeah, it is. It's I'm hard sorry, to believe you're in the operating room. room. <laughs> I mean, we, I mean we, we, we can't help but stare, right? I mean, yeah. that's what we're talking about. Yes. No, but make you feel so much better. I mean, because you said you felt different after breastfeeding, right? Yes, and I did. so normal for, for women. So, you know, and this is a good surgery. So. She's and a you, young... you, you had a couple kids, right? Yeah, I have two. So you, your breasts changed a little bit. You always wanted to be a little bit bigger. So the perfect candidate for breast enlargement. Exactly. She had the perfect breast tissue. You know, she didn't need a lift because this doesn't necessarily work in people who need lifts. And it doesn't work in everyone, you know. There are certain people that it works for. And I'd say about 75% of my patients are able to recover this quickly. I guess a limitation with this, her getting up this quickly, it'd be tougher with a, a much bigger implant. Exactly. That's that, key. That's because that point. does create pain as you're stretching the mm -hmm. tissue. Mm -hmm. But as long as you stay with relatively small. And how long did it take you to do this? Well, uh, the surgery time from the moment I made the incision till I started closing the implants were in the dissection was done was 17 minutes. Not, that no, is what. And it's, and it's not a race. <laughs> yeah. a it's, it's not a race. What it, no, what it means is that you, you've, done, you, well, you've done something enough enough that you're that comfortable with it yes. that it that it goes Well, I was lucky it. to train under Dr. Tebitz. He does the whole thing in 15 minutes. It took me 26, so I'm kind of slow compared to him. But, you know, the thing is that you're precise. You don't have to catch up and stop bleeders because there are no bleeders. And, you know, it's just a matter of treating the human body as it is, a sacred thing that we have, and not traumatizing it. And one thing that I have to show you, this is not a camera trick. Go ahead and raise your arms up in the air. And, and the implants and, and are below the under muscle? Under the muscle. So this is subpectoral yeah. placement, which typically is it causes very... Causes pain. And a lot of people are just encouraged not to ever raise their arms. You know, they have to wear these tight compression wraps. With her, you know, she's going to go back into her surgical bra. She's just here for demonstration purposes. But they don't even have to wear the bra 24-7 necessarily because I'm not trying to control bleeding by compressing the breast. She's bloodless right now in there. And, and let's... Hmm. Show everyone really quickly your before picture and incredibly a few hours later, now. Wow, that's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And you're feeling good. I'm feeling yeah. great. Well, you're a you testament to it. You wow. look great. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Best of luck, Dr. Gavani. Thank you yeah. for joining us.